I'm a native New Yorker. So many of my neighbors are forever shaped by 9-11 and by everything that came from it. That horror, that indelible sense of vulnerability, um, and that search for meaning, it could have made America empathetic to what it is like to be the victim of an airstrike. That is absolutely the first thing rejected. This is where the war on terror is truly born, not from the attack itself, but from the deliberate decision to say that there is only one response to this. And it is not a response that says the urgent act of counterterrorism that really is required right now is to dismantle the American empire that brought us to this horrific circumstance. The culture of 9-11 ensures that. It is what we would understand today as a cancel culture. The point is to ensure the weakness of institutions that will restrain the relentless airstrikes, the outright invasions, surveillance, torture. This is the real wages of what the post 9-11 moment was when you are hearing on op-ed pages and endlessly on cable news that we're one country and united we stand. No, like the FBI went leaving cards under the doors of my neighbors saying, call us, we have to talk. Muslim student organizations found themselves under police surveillance for being Muslim student organizations. The United States spends 20 years killing on a conservative estimate 900,000 people in the Middle East. The only thing durable the United States leaves is total destabilization and human misery. All this, I remind you, because of the United States experiencing one airstrike. It's important to point out that the war on terror is nothing new in American history. The war on terror is an inflection point that reflects so much of the most violent, the most racist, and the most nativist currents in American history give an opportunity to return to power under the veneer of a patriotic emergency. And the reason why the war on terror now appears so inconspicuous is not a function of the rescission of the war on terror, even in light of the troop withdrawal from Afghanistan, but because so much of it has simply become the normal way of conducting American foreign policy.